Hey guys, it's Sapphire Rose here today to tell you a paranormal story and experiences I have had in this graveyard. And yes, I changed my name to Sapphire Rose, so just call me Sapphire now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start by telling you the story about the graveyard Bachelor's Grove. We went there when I was little. My grandparents would usually take me because they always said it was haunted. And you had to walk down this long trail through the forest before you could actually get to the graveyard. And once you got to the graveyard, this thing was old. And when you get in there, these tombstones are like, people would like, I think they try to take them or sell them or something, but they were knocked down. They were all over the place. Nothing was right. People would throw like the stones into this little like lakey pond thing that was nearby. It was like right there at Lake Pond thing. And they said there was bodies in there. Those are the rumors about that lake. And a lot of stuff. And ever since the grave robbers and like people had like come in and moved stuff around. There was a lot of unrest in the graveyard. Like, there'd probably be. Because, I mean, if someone was touching and moving around all your stuff, you'd probably be upset, too. And it always felt like someone was watching you there. And, okay, this is because I was testing out Halloween makeup. I'll tell you the story really quickly. Because, I mean, Caddy Noir, I tried out two different makeups. This one was really good. And this one was absolute crap. But... I'll put a glove on so you guys don't have to look at it. Well, I put these on. When you would go through the forest to get... When you would go... You would walk past the graveyard around the lake pond area. And once you'd get around that area, it would like be this little like drop-off area in some parts. But you, you'd keep going. And when you keep going... You would start heading deeper and deeper into the forest, which is already deeper, and there's this one part, like, you have to walk through it, but on the other side of this river, it's kind of hard to cross this river, but we managed it barely, and we'd always have to try to cross this thing, and once you got way up there and you were finally at the spot to cross it, where there's another road, and rumored on this road is that I have gloves on and once you'd walk way deep into the forest once you gotten past the graveyard through the pond area around the bend all the way down the forest there's a part that looks like there's a path on the other side and to get to that other side you want to go there because it's also haunted over there in that part of the forest there is something to be rumored the pop-up house and this pop-up house pops up like you're supposed to be able to see it. it's supposed to be like a ghost house and the first time we crossed the river, uh, they didn't want to cross the river, but I was like little me, like smaller me, like years ago me. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. We can just dump across the stones. They won't be slippery or wet. It'll be okay. And we did. And it was slippery and wet, but we were okay. Except for like a few years later when like that part, like say this is the one side of the river and you had to cross the other side. Like, well, you'd skip across the rocks, but then right here before you get to the land would be, like, a bunch of mud, so it would be pretty hard to get to, so you'd have to, like, jump. And it was, it, it's big, but, you know. Okay. Once you get across that, you have to keep walking through the forest, but through the whole time we're in this forest, it's always, like, someone's watching you. And once you get to that part in the forest, you just keep walking along that trail, and then... You get to this area where it looks like there could have been a house like a hundred years ago. Except for it's like not there anymore. It's like the hole in the ground but you can like see where like the stairs would have been to go down like to the basement. And like where it could have like been built up. And we think this is a pop-up house and that's what it's supposed to be. And we ended up finding it deep in the forest. And it was really creepy the house. Like you'd always hear stuff like even when you stood in that area where there was like nothing. Like, you could almost feel like something was, like, it was, like, touching on the back of you. And it, like, it was bizarre in that place. And then, once you'd go past the house, you'd find this weird clearing in the trees. And this is where we usually stop walking and ended up turning back around and going different ways because we were pretty far out at this point. There was ghosts in that house area, and there was ghosts in the graveyard. When you go back to the graveyard, there was this... There was this freaky one. It was for, it looked like it was for this little baby, like a baby who died. It was the biggest one there. And people would put their gifts all around it and stuff. And 
they put the gifts like to give to the kid and there was like cool stuff there I was like oh that's a pretty bracelet but like you could like know that, that little kid was like there and it was it was creepy because like people always brought stuff and I guess I don't know like it was always new stuff different times so maybe people took it or like the people in the forest took it and moved it somewhere I don't know what happened to all that stuff but you just knew that like the baby's presence was there when you look at all this stuff like we're looking at like you can just feel that thing watching you that thing the tombstone was huge man and there was this other one, there's like rumored to be like a little ghost there, like you sit on this, you sit on this certain tombstone and the ghost will show up in your photo. We did that, but it like, it, it didn't really work. But that might just because we took pictures in the day. I mentioned that it was like a fence around this place because like the past few years they've been closing it at night and so we never actually been able to go to it at night, which would be pretty creepy at night. And the first time, the first few years we started going there, it was all like, like the grass was cut nicely. And the last time we went there, like the last few times, the grass was like so high and like it was hard to get through places and everything just seemed worse. And like the unrest feeling like just got even more and like, it's like people were just letting it go. But the, there's a lot of creepy things people say happens at night. Like you walk through the forest and you see these like, well, not necessarily night, sometimes in the day too, but like, as you're walking through the forest, like near the river part, like the river's kind of creepy too. Like this is a river, not no good place to be. But as you walk through the river, like sometimes you see like these little orbs flashing on like sides and you're like, what was that? But then you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Just orbs following us as we go along. That's okay. This place is supposed to be really haunted. I mean, it's like south suburbs of Chicago where I used to live before I moved. And it was pretty near where we lived most of the time. So we went there and it was kind of creepy. And I guess my grandma, she used to like go swimming and like play around in those waters when she was younger. And it was like 1960s, 70s. And she said that there was never anything wrong there, but my theory of why there's so much unrest and activity and hauntedness now is because everyone was taking all the grave stuff and moving it around. It, like, that would, like, gives it the serious unrest and why it wasn't that bad when she was there because everyone was more peaceful and the ghosts were like, hey, we're fine now. But then everyone came and, like, nope, they're not happy anymore. Um, I haven't seen it in a few years. I'll try to find a few websites on it and like link it to you guys if you want to like visit or learn about it. I mean, I was there and it was like really creepy that place. And there was this one gravestone I saw. It was a weird feeling I got when I saw that gravestone. Like I saw it and I like just thought like I like the person died in like the beginning of the 20th century. It was like 1921 and they were born like the eight, they were born like 18 oh something. But when I saw that and I like read the name, it was so weird because I felt like, I felt like I had like known that person, which makes no sense. It made no sense. And I just got like the weirdest feeling inside of me that was like, it was so strange. You. This is all I have for my paranormal story today. If there is any other questions you guys have for me about like paranormal or stuff, I you could like just leave it. Maybe I'll make like a video answering it. If you have any other questions about my paranormal experiences, I want to make a video about paranormal experiences I had in certain homes that I've lived in and other stuff. And I don't know if you can see that back there, but that might be a question if you can see what that is. But well, if not, hope you guys enjoyed my story time video. Hopefully it was good and made sense, but that place was really scary and there was something off with it. And nothing ever followed us from there. Like things felt unrested, but nothing seemed like malevolent. So it was never like really that scary. I mean, it was just cool, but yes. Thank you. This is Sapphire Rose. Goodbye.